right, so here we go. Another huge fight, and let us focus on this outstanding striker. A lot of people felt like he could have gone the professional boxing realm. Your thoughts on him coming in here tonight? Yeah, very few boxers of this caliber have this amount of success inside the octagon. Because the reality is this. He fights in the boxing stance. His legs are pretty wide. He does a good job of rolling his shoulders. But he also is able to stay upright. It's very rare that a guy possesses this skill set and can defend the takedowns. He's a tremendous boxer. He's developed the takedown defense. When he's at his best, he is standing with his feet apart, popping the jab, and using everything behind that jab. You are absolutely right. And he has found that striking flow state pretty early throughout his UFC career. Game has slowed down for him a little bit defensively, seeing things well. We'll see how he handles this matchup tonight. There's going to be some competition for bonus money in this one. The kicks are going to be flying early and often. He's one of the better kickboxing practitioners we have in this division. Yeah, when he can make you fight him in a kickboxing fight, I mean, you would imagine you're watching this guy in glorious. Yeah. Because he's so good in this specific area of fighting. He mixes everything up so well from in close, and he's so comfortable in close. He's rolling his shoulders, rolling right to leg kicks. He will batter and bruise you and beat you up from in close. He's amazing. You better take this dude down. If you want a chance to win this fight. Right. No, you put it well, and he has adapted his style very well to mixed martial arts, but when the fight is on the feet, caution flammable. All right, with that, both fighters have now graced the octagon. They will lock the door behind them, ready to go with a crazy fight here at T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas for them. Our tail of the tape for this much-anticipated middleweight encounter. The veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> the things that have allowed for him to find the success that he has in the octagon. And for the kickboxer, it's all about range. Look for him to throw kicks up the middle to keep distance so that he isn't in a phone booth just exchanging with such a high-level boxer. All right, so a big early land by the boxer. He put a lot of steam on that one as he's able to get that hook home, DC. He lands it perfect. I mean, he throws it perfect. Right hand is always where it needs to be. If he throws it with the right, the left hand's always where it needs to be. It's tight, it's crisp, and it lands with a lot of power. Oh, nice. Man, no feel that process whatsoever. These strikers are getting after it all. They don't like each other, and they are trying to get the opponent out of there right away. Oh, with authority, the body. Goes lands another combination. His cardio is so good that, is, that it allows him to put forth this type of output. What his opponent has done at two, he is stringing together four, five, six more different strikes. You don't do that without having fantastic cardio. Leg kick lands nicely done. So another winning jab right there, snapping his head back like a Pez dispenser. You can tell he was a former boxer. Yeah, absolutely. You can tell that that is his face. The way he throws the jab is 
fundamentally sound. He does it like he was trained to do it as a young boy. And right now, behind that jab, he finds himself ahead. Hermanson's got the full mount. And right into side control. Hermanson's able to transition back to side control now. The unbelly. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you got to be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom. And if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and rain down big strikes in your point. Oh, he's got that arm in tight, DC. Oh, Bale's on the submission now. Takes his back now. Two minutes in round one. Great defense by the defensive fighter. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. All right, so some high-level stuff there on the ground, but as they make their way back to the feet, a huge response from the crowd, no surprise. I love, I love all the grappling that was on display there, but fight fans want to see striking, and that's exactly what they're going to get as he finally makes his way back to his feet. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Right on the button. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. This guy cannot miss the head with his strikes. Leg kick is true. Nice shot to the bottom. Under a minute now to go. Good punch, man. Oh! oh, I think he's still compromised. We'll see if he can recover here. He's in a world of trouble. Oh, and right hand barely missed there. Take down attempt late in the round, and he gets it. Throw to the body. He doesn't discriminate. I mean, way to stay aware and stay safe defensively. Drops down inside the now closed guard of his opponent. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or a big ground apart. Hermanson's in half guard. Great ground apart by this man. Round two is next. Well, what a round it was, especially from a striking standpoint. DC, take us through it. High-level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men stand on a quarter, chest to chest, forehead to forehead, and let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out, but it does excite me for the next round. You ready to fight? Ready. Round two here. All right, so here we go with our next round in the previous round. He rocked his opponent pretty good. We'll see if he can pick you back on that one. Let's see if he can continue the onslaught, right? He had his opponent hurt real bad, but he cannot rush. He has to understand that a live fighter is in front of him. Otherwise, he'll find himself on the wrong side. Right, he's got the striking going, another connection there. And that shot actually cut him or so it appears. Yeah, you can tell that if he kept landing at the rate that he would, it would start to get damaged. What is it? Look at how he turns his hip. He needs to fight now. Oh, well, you see him tear that hand to the body. Beautiful hook shot there to the midsection. And now some separation. Well, no denying that he rocked him, but couldn't quite get the finish. He hurt him real bad, but he couldn't find the shot that would put him to sleep. He threw a lot of punches, but he couldn't get the one to land on the button that would end the night. For Manson's time starting to close out. Got to get that end swell on it between rounds if we get there. Big right hook 
come and it's blocked. Oh, Anson gets the single leg takedown. Nicely done there. He passes to half guard. All right, side control now. Looks like he's trying to isolate an arm here, DC. Yeah, he's isolated it to try to get it to more. Notice he'll step over the head to try to get the Kimura. All right, so he lands again just like we saw in the last round. Realizing a lot of success with his more time game team. You know, why change it? It's working. And it's working from the very start of the fight. The moment this fight started, you saw the advantage that we predicted was there. He started to take advantage of it early, and now he's continuing to build on that. This kickboxer looks amazing tonight. Oh, to the mark. He's got to start throwing now. Ground and pound keeps coming. Good movement to avoid that damage coming down. Going to try to take his opponent back here, and he does. Thought about a joke, instead flattens him out. And now he's got a lot of options offensively, Chase. Yeah, he's got all the options available to him. Now he just has to get all that hip pressure into his opponent's back and just start raining down ground and pound. And if you're the bottom fighter, better start intelligently defending yourself. There it is. Now he's running him up. Yep, got to be very careful there. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Hermanson. Man, this is some serious ground and pound here, DC. He's not just staying busy for the sake of staying busy. These strikes are doing bad. Oh, yeah. No pity pat to this guy. This guy's trying to land. He's trying to land effective strikes. Look at him attack that arm triangle on the opposite side. When it's time to finish, he will lock his hands, pass his body all the way to the opposite side, drop his chest to get all the way down to the opponent's neck to try to choke him out and finish the fight. That's tight. Oh, he got out! He actually bridged, got his hips up in the air, used his momentum to take him back towards the opponent's feet, chest down to the mat to get out of that deep submission attempt. All right, looks as though that strike maybe opened up a cut around the eye area. Yeah, it looks like that strike opened up a cut, John, but it's nothing to worry about now. But he's got to start to protect him. Well, the body work starting to take its toll. Look at the redness starting to appear on his left side. Under a minute to go. Oh, nice. Well, some fighters, when they get cracked in the mouth, they respond well. He got stunned earlier in the round and hasn't really recovered or gotten back into things. People react differently, right? Some people just get back on. He's having a hard time building his way back on his way. Hermanson's nose is bleeding now. Yes, looks as though he got cut by one of those offerings from his opponent. Seconds left. 15 seconds. Oh, man. All right, single power time now. And this dude's cash and chips. Oh, and the sound on round two. All right, so there's the end of the round. Big story in this one now. The cut on the bridge of that nose from that strike. The cut man is in there. Should be able to shut this one and potentially prevent it from being a factor here moving forward. All right, DC, we got a few clips of the damage done in that round. Can see where things really started to escalate. Yeah, really open up that cut, John. The blows are just devastating. He's got to get out of the way more. I mean, if this guy won't do it himself, Somebody's got to help him. Yeah. Because you cannot keep taking these types of shots. You ready to fight? Ready. Third round underway. Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Hermanson. Well, we wondered earlier why there weren't as many body strikes. He's making up for lost time here. Shot to the body connects. And that bear's watching. That's going to hurt this opponent. Beautiful shot to the leg. Big roundhouse now just misses. 
Oh, man, the blood is flowing now. I know a lot of you like that, but he has got to figure some things out defensively or this fight's going to end. He's got to move his head, John. But the problem is, now he's got the blood to deal with. Oh! That's how you finish the fight. Oh, he hurt him again, bro. Beautiful diving strike land. You have to fight that. Oh, now working the body with the elbow. I'll buy it. Well, he has got to be. Watch the armbar. Watch the armbar here. Arm is very tight. Oh, how good is that as he gets out? That is great submission defense. Keeping everything short and not allowing his opponent to get the submission victory. Beautiful ground and pound approach. And now his opponent is starting to swell. Are working on the ground here. His opponent's feet on the hips. Trying to guard pass here. Not today. No, it ain't happening. Good job understanding the transition. Look at that. Recognize he's about to lose position. Posture's up now and lands the vicious head strike. There, he took a strong top position himself. Oh, bleeding from his cheek now. Damage done. Well, you know he's comfortable fighting off his back. Great shot from the top position. Not being just offensive, but offensive off of his back. Great punch line. Fighter trying to pass here, Ooh, but gets denied. Gets denied. Great job. Great recognition of seeing what your opponent was trying to do. Now drops inside that close guard. He's really using his physicality to his advantage now. He lifted up the neck and snuck his arm underneath to try to get a choke. He's out. What submission defense on display? And now, I think he's looking for a submission. He's going to start to chase the arm triangle. Oh, looks like he's got that arm pinned in the triangle now. Fantastic submission defense yet again. Oh, what a moment there as they make their way back to the feet. Crowd may be jumped, but they're absolutely right. Yeah, the crowd loves the stand-up fight. So all that grappling wasn't what they wanted to see. They're back up on their feet now, and they're popping for it. They're excited. Oh! Oh, he's wobbled now. Hermanson's blocking pretty well now, so an adjustment made by the fighter to protect that. Oh, watch Guillotine here. Well, you know this. Oh. That Guillotine is tight. Oh, he's out. Print the shirts. Ground and pound. Right inside his opponent's guard here, DC. You don't play around here too long. No, you gotta either have two hands in or two hands out. A guy starts to attack triangle. Nicely done by Hermanson. Strong reversal there. Get the ball here. All right, so he's got the ground and pound game going here. Oh, and there it is. Was only a matter of time. That ground strike has cut him open. Nicely done there as he forces the miss from his opponent. Well, working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Hermanson. Well, that eye area is getting bloodier with every passing strike. It's like a target, and he keeps going to it, and you see it's starting to get worse as the fight is going on. Right. And that'll do it. 15 minutes in the books. All right, there's the horn. What a round it was, DC. And, of course, the seminal moment, that big knockdown that nearly got his opponent out of there for good. Almost finished the fight, but now he needs to reset, right? Don't rush. Go right. back out to the next round and just try to find that shot again. If he rushes, if he overexerts himself, he will run out of energy and put himself at risk of losing the fight. 
All right, so a big knockdown for him, courtesy of that punch in that round. DC, here's a replay. Big moment in the previous round. They were both fighting very well, but when he landed this punch right here that sits his opponent down, it showed that the power is not equal, and if he can land, he does have the ability to damage it. You ready to fight? Ready. ready. Fourth round, fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. Oh, nice hook. There's another one. Punch landed with so much power. Oh, big roundhouse attempt, but unable to land. He's got the single collar time. Oh, almost like he saw the skin swell right away after he landed that strike. So that trainer's gonna have to bring in the end swell to try to. Oh, he jumped guillotine right away. Somehow he gets out. Fantastic submission, D. Come on, come on now. Oh, it's tight. Oh, the submission defense holds up. He gets out. He said that he was ready for everything out before that. In that position, he showed that and proved it. Oh, he's got to be careful there. Yep. Moving his head on the ground here, avoiding a lot of these big shots. Ooh, right into side control, DC. This is where you want to be now because you get to make your opponent decide. They try to turn back into you, you can attack guillotine. If they turn away to try to get to your knees, you throw your hooks in and you got all your rear choke submissions. Hermanson's in half guard now. Oh, that right eye's looking pretty swollen now. Might be shut before too long. Down to three minutes now to go in the round. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Ooh, what a punch. Physical toughness we are seeing from these two individuals. Both fighters damaged and compromised, and they're leaning on the heart. The yeah, they're both leaning on the heart. They're both trying to really show that they belong. They're both trying to show that they're the better fighter. They have been matched at every single step. They're both bloody, battered, bruised, but neither one of them is willing to take a step back. These guys are the Back to his feet. Massive left hand. Hermanson goes for the clinch here. Looks like he's trying to recover. He was stunned a little bit earlier. Let's see if he can get a respite here. Jab gets the attention of his opponent. Oh, and he lands yet another punch. That can't feel good. You can see he continues to target that cut on his opponent's eye. Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting them up now. Hermanson's cut on his nose, manageable for a while, maybe not so much now. That thing is pouring blood. Oh, oh my goodness! What an absolutely crazy knockout here, and that's going to be a hard knockout from which to recover for his opponent. But the celebration is on, one of the biggest wins in his UFC career. Massive win for this young fighter. He got the knockout victory. What a performance. The official decision is in. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop in this contest at 3 minutes, 35 seconds of round number 4. Declaring the winner by knockout, Joe Body Buffer! And there is...
the man of the moment, and what a moment this must be like for a professional athlete, right? I know you enjoyed the birth of your kids, right? Yeah. But you knock out a man in a cage fight, I can't think of anything better. I mean, there's nothing like it. You know, you don't even hear the one that lands that puts out your opponent's lights. And tonight, he got that done. And he should be very proud of the work he and his coaches got done tonight.